Good afternoon and welcome back to where nothing happened. I'm lying again. I just want to use a fake accent. Minus one, I think it was it got to today. Done very little for the snow melt, but now tomorrow is Remembrance Day. We end up seeing or me, me seeing a vet or meeting up with a someone in uniform. Thank them. Do yourself a favor. Thank them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. There will be services tomorrow. If you get a chance to go, I live close to the armory, so I want to make a point of actually going. Because that's what we should be doing. Going. Now. Well, also tomorrow. Wow. Oh, Sears Catalog gets mentioned. But anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, a very distant second, the way steps below the services. Division, CFL Division Finals. First will be Montreal at Toronto. Second will be BC at Winnipeg. I think in Toronto will be Montreal, but that's why they play the game. BC and Winnipeg. God. You'd think this would be an easy pick, but it isn't. Two very good teams. I th I'm picking BC, but I have a feeling Winnipeg's going to end up winning. So, there's that. Hopefully tomorrow's a nice day for the services. Because it, the sun actually came out today, by the way. Also put a picture of a couple of snow guys. There's in somebody else's yard. And if you saw on my social is if you actually look closest snow guy or snow person, snowman. It's got a flipping empty bag of chips of it on its head. It's an empty chip bag. <clears throat> so yeah, that happened. Got a little bit of running around done today. Sent on my first Christmas card. I hope Stevie gets it. Although, with tomorrow being a holiday and Monday's in lieu of... See, now I got two different envelopes going to Edmonton. One's the Christmas card, and the other is my, is my payment for December for my storage unit, in which I still like to get my hands on. Yeah, so that's that. For true yeah, I wasn't going to wait till like, Wednesday when they sent me the notifications. It's like, to get it out there, that way it's on its way already. So, yesterday's li Double Jeopardy category was literary ladies. Literary ladies. For 400 bucks. Yesterday's answer was 1944's Absent in the Spring is one of the non-mystery novels she wrote under the name Mary Westmacott. Question, who is Agatha Christie? Things you learn, right? Right. Today's double jeopardy category is also literary, literary ladies. It's for 1200 bucks. Answer, it's the first name shared by best-selling authors, Delinsky, Touchman, and King Solver. Who's who 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 reads novels? Who's who's a literary literary expert? I'm gonna I'm just gonna take a stab at it and say Martha because I absolutely have no bloody idea. So yeah. So.
Let's see, what else can I add? Apparently there's an honest day, hockey on this date. There's a game between Philadelphia and Toronto in 1996. Feature which featured a, the, I know it was a line brawl, but it also featured the starting goalies, Felix Python for Toronto, and Ron Hextel for Philadelphia. It's crazy. Hextel started in Philly, got traded to Quebec, ended up back in Philly. I think he played with the Islanders before he went back. I can't remember if it was before he went back to Philly or after. So remember, he's still going to the Islanders. I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, so I looked at the calendar because I thought it was, it was like, yeah, okay. I don't have to worry about that. So, uh, yeah, so I don't know what else to add yet. I don't know what else to add yet, so... In the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.